YouTube channel. Now, it's been a great month uh, for the Oink blog for several reasons, and I'm going to try and cover them as quickly as possible. Well, one of the big things was uh, a couple of months ago, a couple of episodes ago, I said that the blog was relaunching, and it has. And at the time, I was focusing mainly on some behind the scenes things, these spreadsheets uh, covering all of the, the Oink content from all, <laughs> all of the comics, I've got like a massive pile of them uh, right in front of me here because I've just finished uh, that work. I've catalogued everything that is in every single issue including writers, cartoonists uh, and all reader content as well so if you wrote into Oink or you won a competition or anything at all just get in touch and I can hunt out what issue you could have appeared in. It'll make sense as we get going with the real-time read-through of Oink. We actually have three posts this month all about the main comic, uh, the namesake of the site. Um, and it started off with um, basically a, a countdown to the comic. On the date that an interview with John Sanders, he was uh, quite high up in IPC magazines and had a lot to do with the launch of Oink. There was an interview with him in the CTN that was a an industry magazine for magazines and comics at the time. So on the date of that interview, I republished it on the blog. Thank you very much to Lou Stringer, who originally had sourced that for his blog a while back. During April, we will continue that countdown. We have um, a lot of quotes coming up from a lot of the, the guys that worked on Oink. When I wrote the article for a comic scene magazine last year, I gathered about half a dozen quotes from people in a short period of time about how they felt working on the comic, what their memories were, for example. It wasn't included in the magazine, but let's look at the positive here. It's allowed me to go and source more. So I have a lot more of the guys who worked in Oink have provided me with some fantastic uh, quotes for about their time on the comic and I'm going to put them all together in a blog post this this month in April as we build up to the first issue at the beginning of May. There'll also be a look at the promotional leaflets that were delivered to news agents marketing the comic. Uh, the blockbuster adverts, a four page advert that appeared in other IPC comics. Uh, Uncle Pig had a cameo in uh, Wizard and Chips. On top of that we've also got a fanzine article that Lou Stringer wrote at the time. And look at his original designs of Tom Thug. Uh -huh. And then the actual preview issue itself. This one right here will get reviewed at the end of the month and that will conclude our countdown and beginning of May, you can look out for the first issue appearing uh, and getting read. And that will be us on our journey through Oink for two and a half years. Fantastic. Also Oink related this month, Lee Stringer, him again, posted up a, a picture of Specky Hector, the comics collector that he drew for an online auction to raise money for a good cause. With kind permission, I was able to repost that onto the blog as well. Last month, we had a tribute to Andy Roper, a fantastic uh, cartoonist for Oink. This month, on the anniversary of the passing of JT Dog uh, several years ago, there is also now a tribute to him. The other real-time read-through that has actually begun this month is for the Visionaries. There are three posts already. An introductory post is up there, which includes the intro to the cartoon, which I think was on my, my last video as well. That spectacular introductory you know, credit sequence and song from the cartoon as well as a toy advert from the time, both a, a print version and a TV advert version are both there in the introduction. There's also another post of the free mini comic given away with Transformers. Whereas Oink, we got a full size, or the readers of Buster and Wizard and Chips, and I think things like Battle, uh, got a full 32 page full size comic for Oink. In Transformers, a four page mini comic was given away introducing the Visionaries it includes some sort of rare promotional artwork as well. So there's a post looking at that. 
And then finally, there's also actually a review of the first full issue of Visionaries. I really should be showing you this, shouldn't I? Uh, handily enough, it's right here. Oh, wheel out of shot and back in again. There you go. There's issue one complete with hologram, which you might just be able to see. Um, that was extraordinarily difficult to photograph, but I was actually able to do so. So that full issue, the first full review was up uh, there during March on the date of its actual release. And coming in in April, obviously, will be the review of issue two. Something else that appeared on the blog and proved very popular uh, were the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> they've appeared suddenly um, is that it was the anniversary uh, 33rd anniversary of the first issue of their comic now on the previous oink blog site that I ran for about seven years I did read and review the first three of their annuals but I never clicked with the actual comic I didn't think I wanted to but I got chatting online to a amazing former cartoonist by the name of Stu Munro he is a huge fan of the real Ghostbusters and around the same time we started talking Sony their official Ghostbusters channel is now showing one episode a week now in the, in the States it's Saturday morning Saturday morning cartoons after all here it's about two o'clock every Saturday afternoon another episode goes up now the previous ones are all there we're on episode I think eight at the minute now myself you'll notice behind me there's a couple of box sets of old Babylon 5 videos now thankfully remastered in their proper aspect ratio blah 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 forget about those awful dvd versions they're now available uh, to buy digitally which i did at christmas thanks to some apple icloud vouchers so i'm enjoying them the creator of babylon 5 j michael straczynski worked on the real ghostbusters so i thought i may get a chance to go back and watch all these cartoons now knowing he was a story editor and one of the main writers for it all this sort of converged chatting to Stu over very very lengthy emails the anniversary of issue one of the comic came up we were talking about this and so I bought it and I covered it thinking right I'll read it see what it's like do I really want to try and start another comic collection of 192 issues plus specials yes I do now it's going to take a long time before it appears in the blog obviously it took me several years to get all the Transformers issues so I don't know how long this will take but it will eventually get to that stage. At the minute, there are two posts up there. One is an introduction to the real Ghostbusters in the same way we did with Visionaries. It concentrates on Boxing Day 1987 and the 11th of January 1988. Very specific dates for me, which you can read about and find out why. You can also find out how it's thanks to Scylla Black that I became such a huge fan of the Ghostbusters. <laughs> uh, and how the, the day of the release of the first issue is such a vivid memory I mean it, it's one of the most vivid memories I have from my childhood uh, there was one final post that went up about comic scene their second set of four volumes in their hundred year history of comics uh, it just been announced that Lee Stringer him again uh, had been announced as a contributor a uh, contributor to one of the issues he's going to be uh, writing an article about countdown comic now, apart from that, behind the scenes, as I say, those spreadsheets are all finished. I've taken, I took the last sort of half a week of March off from writing anything on the blog. They've all been done. The menu system has started to sort of come together. As more comics join the fray, these will all be sort of 
rearranged and I just can't wait to see how it looks in a month from now, two months from now, six months from now. You know, that's what I mean when I say I can't wait, blah, blah, blah. I'm already doing it, but I'm just always looking forward to adding more content and doing more for it. So look, if you haven't been checking it out this month, there's quite a bit there to read. And finally, there is a new Facebook page for the blog. And so if you just go on there and just search for Oink Blog, you'll find me. I've joined lots of groups to do with the individual comics as well. And of course, there is the Oink group itself. It's still there. There's nearly 1,300 other pig pals there. So come along, join in the fun. I've been loving your comments so far. Thanks so much for joining in. I will see you this time next month, at the beginning of May, when we will look back on April. And we'll actually, when the next video comes along, we might only be maybe a day away from the beginning of the actual reading and reviewing of Oink in real time. Excited. In the meantime, remember folks, let's look after each other. Let's get through this. Keep your distance, wear your masks, wash your hands, watch out for your snout, and mind your rind. See you soon, pig pals. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who eat pigs cause they're made from hell? Eat the nasty butcher man. Pigs in daytime, pigs at night. If you read on, you'll be alright. Cause pigs will know that you're okay. Cause the pigs are here to stay. Oh, 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 oh. Don't eat pigs, cause they're made from hell.